What's up, boy? This is your boy, Ethan, a.k.a. Okay, the Batman, back for part two. And I want to apologize for the last video that I post, posted up at the ending. My phone kind of dropped on me because, yes, I'm recording from my phone because I'm poor. Like I said, I'm not trying to be these YouTube guys. Like I said, I'm just doing it for the hell of it, for fun. Anyway, and I'm watching here, again, the Great Ones video. Um, like I said, I'm not coming at him, I'm not disrespecting him. I'm not, you know, having an argument with him, but... He came to a point where he said at WrestleMania 34, the tag team match between the mixed tag team match between Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle versus Triple H and Stephanie Man was the best match and best match in the card. I can disagree with you with that one, guy. I'm gonna be honest with you. My opinion is a lot different than yours. I could probably say it's probably the top three best matches in the card. Yes, but if you want to see the show type thing, no. I'll tell you one thing about Ronda Rousey match. We all expect that we think that, especially as fans, we all didn't think that she would have put word of being that wrestler. We didn't think expectation of her thinking she'll do so good. That's what hyped up the match, and we all was wrong about it. But I'm pretty sure I know I was one of them. I didn't think she'll. I know she'll do good, but I didn't think she'll do good in that match because look, that's her first match, and I know nervous would kick in as me, as a wrestler, because I have wrestled before. It does kick in when you're nervous? So you know, I I. Didn't put much thing downgrade her, but I didn't think she'll do good like she does. So we all thought that. But we all say that match is good because Ronda Rousey put up, prove us wrong. And then you had Kurt Angle, then you had Triple H, and you had, you know, it, it had a story to it, which was really great, good to it. But that match, uh, and the reason why I say that match is because uh, we all know that match is not really supposed to happen. And let me explain why. That match is literally supposed to be Ronda Rousey and The Rock versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. That was supposed to happen because that build would lead a lot to WrestleMania 31 if you think about it. Now, I'm not saying that match wasn't bad, guys. And I'm not saying it was the best, but great one. I kind of just really disagree on you saying that's the best match in the card. I think my opinion... That match started it versus Oscar. Yes, the ending was crazy. I mean, you know, we were all sad that you said that she lost her streak. And you know, I was really pissed off about that. But I literally was gluing this match, man, because this is one of the matches that I wanted to see since day one. Them two together. And at the greatest stage of them all, it was good. Perfect to put them in there. Now, don't get, me, don't get me wrong. When it comes to Ronda Rousey, I really want to see Ronda Rousey face one of these two at WrestleMania. Definitely want to see her face Oscar too. For those that um, um, watches wrestling, y'all can agree with me with this one. So leave a comment on below what you and and tell me what you think WrestleMania. 3, for those that see WrestleMania 34, what you think was a good match? I think this is one of the best ones. I, I will put Ronda Rousey up there, probably second match around there. I think that story show and John Cena versus The Undertaker was also a good one. And the reason why I say that was a good one, because it was short and simple. You didn't have to build the match. You didn't have to make it more than five minutes. Uh, I was shocked that it actually was under the three-minute mark, but that was good. It was fine because, like I said, Undertaker can't go the way he would love to go. And then you got John Cena, who's just like, come on, John Cena, John Cena. So, you know, it was short and simple. It was fun. John Cena finally got his ass whipped at WrestleMania that we all wanted. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, I I, I want to say it's up there, though, but it'll be probably top five matches. Quick, it was an easy match, too. Anyway, I just wanted to make this short little video because, you know, I had to disagree on what the great one said. Actually, I'm going to go with one more and see what he says. But, yeah. Yeah, 54, we obviously had Oscar versus Charlotte. Great match, man. I think I'm telling you, that's number one. I still at this point how you said that. That makes tag team match was the best match. Not in my opinion. That was boring. It was just a match added for the sake of having a match. And WrestleMania 34 is way more special, way better match. The match was really amazing, even though some of us may disagree with the fact that it was broken. Hey, you shaved, man. You know, like Wolverine. Wins. This one. So WrestleMania 34 gets another point. At WrestleMania 33, we had Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker. Terrible match. Taker's out of shape. Main event. Disappointment. 
Well, Reigns defeats The Undertaker, why would he do just holy shit? Why? Only cool moment was seeing The Undertaker retiring. I can't agree with you on that. And it turns out it wasn't really a retirement. What a terrible WrestleMania moment and match. However, at WrestleMania 34, we had a two-minute match against John Cena. Which was good. Calling out The Undertaker again. He's not here. He's not here. Undertaker is not here until he actually comes out and defeats John Cena in two minutes. With John Cena not doing any offense, pretty much. And also Undertaker Which is a good thing. in great shape. He looks five years younger. In general, The Undertaker was really, really fast in the ring. Looked great. Looked healthy. And... Uh, I gotta say, the storytelling, everything was... Do you wanna know why he squashed him? Now, I looked down on a blog before in TMZ and, you know, Beach Report, why the young ticker squashed John Cena. Well, the young ticker had surgery not so long ago. And they were afraid that if he would've had, like, another 5-10 minute match, he would've got hurt. So, WB had to be safe for him and really squashed him. That's basically what it really, really was. Um... From when I read an article and like I like to read stuff like that, especially when it comes to wrestlers like him. And I read it right after WrestleMania, so you know I was surprised when I was, that he did his question, but I understood what WWE was doing is keeping him safe. You know what I mean? And what better way to just squash John Cena, what we all wanted for once? Tired of seeing Mr. Superman do it, get everything. You know what I mean? Uh, but it was good that WWE did that. Um, that's my point of view. That match had to happen that way. Here. Yeah, it was short, but that was the whole story. Don't knock on the dead man's door or grave because you're gonna get your ass whipped, and that's exactly like what happened. There. It was shocking, it was great. What a WrestleMania moment! Probably my favorite WrestleMania moment of WrestleMania. 34. Agree. WrestleMania 33, however, was just one of these. Why Vince McMahon is doing this to The Undertaker, and why is he still pushing Roman Reigns like that? When we all know this is not what will get the, the guy over. It was one of these moments, so I gotta give the point to WrestleMania True. for again. True. I still don't know why they put that in the main event, WrestleMania 33. The finish of the rivalry between Brock Lesnar Good match. and Goldberg. WrestleMania 33. Goldberg entered the match as the Universal Champion. However, at the end of it, he lost the title in a very surprisingly cool match. It wasn't a five-star match, four-star match. I agree with him. Team Bray one, I agree with you on that one. It was a great match was last week here. Cool Not the best match, match, yes, but it was good. Match. However, at WrestleMania 34, we had Universal Championship and he made him at the WrestleMania between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. A very, very, very terrible, underwhelming, and a match that no... Now, this is where I need to disagree with you, guy. You said that Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns match was a terrible match. I can agree with you, and I'm going to disagree on you on that one. Now, what I mean as in main event, and what I'm going to agree with you is, yes, it, as a main event, it was terrible. As a match, I don't think it was terrible. And, and hear my point of view, like I said, this is my point of view, my option. You had your option, I got my option. I'm not coming at you, and I'm not disrespecting you. And I'm not throwing in word fights with you, okay? But I have to disagree on the fact that this match wasn't that bad. Hear me out. I think this match should have been better off not as a main event. If this match was pulled back a little more behind or before a main event, maybe the seventh match or six, whatever the match was, how many matches were Because I know there were a lot of matches that had... I think, but if it could have been like to second to last, or maybe before that second to last match, it would have been a great match. But the reason why we didn't like the main event is because we knew that a match like this is really has happened. And I'm not saying because Stone Cold and the Rock has been happened three times, but we knew that Stone Cold and the Rock can't pull it off at any time. Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns, they chemistry uh, it's not so good when it comes to them. Making a match, so that's why we all knew that it was gonna be down the block. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I understand why WWE may put this in main event because it fooled all of us, and they did that for a reason. Because we all thought that Roman Reigns was gonna be Brock Lesnar because Brock Lesnar leaving took all to the UFC. Let's be honest, you guys. Even great when I'm pretty sure you knew the same thing, and they did that because they actually. For us, when 
Brock Lesnar beat Roman Reigns. So I understand why they put that as last match. Still disappointed to know that they had it as a main event. So that's why we all hated it. But the match wasn't so bad. Like, I like the fact that he really squashed Roman Reigns. And it should have been like that. It, Brock Lesnar should dominate him. And, and when we all, when this match was live and we all watched it, we all knew that Roman Reigns was going to win because how the fact that it was built up like that. So we all was fooled. But that's what WWE did for us. They fooled us. Great one. Come on. You can't really see this is a bad match. WWE did it for a reason. At the end, it was one of the biggest surprises. But I, I want to hear the rest of what you got to say. Nobody cared about. Let's be honest out of here. Crowd were chanting. Agree. This is awful. Crowd were chanting CM Punk. Crowd were chanting. Boring. And Brock Lesnar actually retained the championship in a very shocking fashion, but mm -hmm. it's still like meh. We're not gonna see the Rose for championship again. Still. I agree with you, bro. One thousand percent. Like I said, I this what agree here. Like I said, I just gave my my point of view. But uh, like I said, as you look at it as a WWE fan. We didn't like it, of course. But as me, as me, wrestling before, I have the experience of wrestling, so I know a little more of how backstage wrestling really is. I understand what WD did. I understand what... I, I'm, I'm saying this as not a fan. I'm saying it as a, a, rex, a wrestler experience. I understand why WD did that. So, yeah. Everybody has their own opinion. I just wanted to throw it out there. It was really hard for me to decide, so I went to the Twitter and I asked... You guys, which match was worse or better? Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt or Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles? A dream match that was supposed to be one of the worst WrestleMania's match was very, very disappointing. And I gotta be honest, my dear, it actually was just one of these SmackDown Lives or Monday Night Raw's main events. It didn't feel special. It was really underwhelming. It didn't actually went to the third gear. This match felt bit under well, however at Wrestlemania 33 we had Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt and also the same match it feels like WWE Championship matches are really bad these days <clears throat> Roman Reigns versus Triple H as well we also had bugs in the ring these special effects and it was underwhelming Randy Orton won the WWE Championship and at Wrestlemania 34 AJ Styles retained the WWE Championship however at the end of the match we had a cool moment by Shinsuke Nakamura punching him in the day Punch in the dick, we had a hook in the dick. Yeah, it was a hook in the dick. And you know what? I actually like that. Hiroshi Skinakamura might be interesting. Any I have to agree with you again. Um, you said the match was bad. I kind of agree with you, but I feel like this match should have been a main event. They could do a lot better at a main event. Especially if you're going to use this game like on as a bad guy. This match, honestly, could have been like a... I would say mixed with the Rock and Stone Cold match at WrestleMania 17. Mixed with the Bret Hart and Stone Cold match. Because you could really use this game like more in this match and, and start building as a heel in the match. That would have been great. And especially if you would have put it as a main event. Come on. Yeah, no, it's true. Yes, it was a better match, but mostly because of the ending, I have to give this to WrestleMania 34. So as you guys can see, WrestleMania 34 easily takes the cake, and I might have been a little bit too harsh of it on the pay-per-view. I think the biggest reason it kinda sucked was that all the lowest points of the show were at the end and the end is what we are always going to remember yes these both WrestleManias weren't the best but it is what it is let's hope the next WrestleMania is actually going to be a little bit better so congratulations to WrestleMania 34 let me know in the comments below maybe there's someone who actually disagrees with me and let me know all your matches and let me know who I'm gonna have to end this video right now. Um, yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, please like and subscribe to this. I will do more videos like this. Um, for I don't, I don't know if I can make a name of this type of video or a title to this because it's not like I said, I'm just doing it for fun. But uh, leave a like in the comment below what you think were great, good matches from Team Wrestling 33 to Wrestling 34. And what do you think was the best? And what's your opinion? What's the best match between those two pay per view? 
uh, I would like to know, man, because everybody has their own opinion. So, like I do, and he does too. And why, follow him too, the great one. Um, his channels are good, especially if you're a wrestling fan. Um, like and subscribe on his. Uh, put the notification bell on for him too, because I'm telling you, he does put up some good points in wrestling. Uh, I still love watching his videos from time to time. Um, and he does talk about W2K video games also, so watch him out. You know, he does put some good points out there. There's times that he don't. That's why I like to a little disagree on some of the things that he say, but at the same time, it's fun to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not coming at him, like I said, for y'all guys to know. It. So like like his stuff too, okay, guys? Anyway, it's your boy Ethan the Batman. I call myself Batman. Don't worry about it. Why? <laughs> I'm a big fan. That's why. Anyway, catch you later on the next video.